Hi folks, thanks for joining me for this week's Riverfly tutorial. What you see in the vise is a small wet fly, so without further ado, let's get into it. The hook we're using today is the Hanak H280 barbless hook. As you can see, this one's at size 12. It's on a medium wire and it's in black nickel. The thread I'm going to be using today is the Semperfy Nano Silk. This one's black and it's at 12 o. Now I've already added uh, quite a significant amount of wax to this thread and I'm just catching in behind the eye. And I'm going to run this up all the way to the point of the hook. So we've got it in line with the point and I'm just going to remove my waist. Now I'm going to add a small tag as you've seen at the start of the video and what I'm going to be using is the Vivas, this is the P01, it's a medium and it's a Pearl Lurex tinsel. You don't have to use this exact material, uh, you might want to add a red tag, it's, it's really up to you. So I'm going to dress this up to where I left my thread off and I'm going to catch that in and I'm going to run it all the way back to the pronounced bump on the uh, 280 hook. You might notice there's a, a little bump on the hook there, which uh, I quite like. So I've caught that in, and then I'm gonna run my thread all the way back up to and in line with the point of my hook. And what I want to do is then bring my tag up the fly to meet my thread. And bear with me while I do that. And there we go. And then once it's met my thread, I can come over two turns to lock it down and then pull the material back out the way and a couple of turns in front. I can then remove that waste piece. Well, it's not a waste piece. There's loads left. I'll get a few more flies out of that. So I'll just pop it down to the side. Next thing I want to do is add my rib. Now the rib I'm going to use today is just a medium silver wire. It's a Venyard product. And I'm going to catch it the length of the body. Uh, I'll just catch it on my side. I don't want it sitting on the top of the shank. Just catch it on my side. And then bring it all the way back to where my tag is. And now I've got that, the body of this fly is made from a herring wing fibres and I've taken a couple of fibres from the herring wing. If you don't have herring, don't worry, pheasant tail works just as well, but uh, I, I really like the grey of the herring, I think it makes a big difference. But if you haven't got it available, I know it's tough to come by, pheasant tail will do you proud. So catch that in as well and bring your thread up to approximately an eighth of an inch for the eye of the hook. Then what I'm going to do is grab my body material and because the hair and feather is so long I can just use my fingers, I don't need to uh, use hackle pliers even for a ham-fisted idiot like myself. So that's coming up nice and steady, the body's looking good. all the way up to meet my thread and then I can capture that in lock it into place two turns to lock it down pull back your material couple of turns in front I can then come in and snip away the waste so you might have noticed I brought that material material towards myself so with the rib I'm going to take that away I turn in behind and then I'll take it up and four or five turns is about right once I'm happy with that 
couple of tons to lock the wire in, a couple of tons in front. Keeping tension on the thread, just twist away your wire. Put that to the side, and that's looking pretty good. Okay, so the wing. What I'm using for the wing is uh, a feather from this medium dun cape. Uh, let's see if I can get it in focus. So it's uh, a medium dun, very similar, dull, subdued colour as the herring feather. And uh, I've, I've selected a feather here. And what I'm going to do is just grab my hackle pliers. So I'll try and get this done on camera. I'm going to grab the tip of the feather. Oh, got some left over. Okay, I've selected a feather. And what I'm going to do is just use my hackle pliers to grab the tip. Now once I've got a hold of the tip, I can just ease back the fibres until I've got the feather like this. Now what I want to do is catch that tip in at the front here. A couple of turns to lock it in. Two turns in front, just to make sure the thread doesn't back up on me. Then I can come in with my scissors and carefully snip the wrong bit. <laughs> Remove the uh, the waist end. Okay, so I've got my hackle ready to turn, and it's it's quite a massive hackle. This, so I don't need to worry about it again. Don't need hackle pliers for turning. Now you'll get people arguing as long as broad about the sparseness of wet fly hackles. I'm a great believer in having everything. So I've got some sparse, I've got some bushy, and my personal preference actually is a little bushy. I'm not keen on the, the super sparse uh, wet flies. So I'm just easing them fibers back, and I've done three turns there. And what I want to do is just catch that in place now. With a couple of turns of thread, or silk, should I say. And then I'm going to wet my thumb and forefinger in my left hand. Ease everything back out the way. And then start to build my head. Once you've got that head started, you can then grab your feather and pull that away. Now, there's a couple of things we can do with this. We can hang on to that, don't throw it out, because there's lovely uh, fibres up here that will do for tailing. Um, you could even cut this off and use it as a dubbin, put it in a dubbin loop, and you'll get a fairly nice uh, effect from it. So don't throw away these bits. Um, always handy to keep a hold of. Once we've got a... Uh, our hackle in place, just make sure you're happy that it looks okay. And then to finish off, what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of UV resin to my thread. And then come in with my whip finish tool. And give that a few turns to finish it off. Snip away your thread and cure it off with your UV torch. Now I would I would fish this uh, in a team of three wets and I would fish it on the point. And the reason I would fish it on the point is generally um, this would be about the heaviest fly that I'd have on that cast. Now for demonstration purposes I've tied this in a size 12 but it's much more effective in 14s and 16s. Um, but when you're tying that small it's quite difficult to demonstrate it on camera. So I hope you enjoyed that. A couple of interesting things. If you haven't got Pearl, you can use red holographic, green holographic, whatever you fancy for the tag. You don't need the herring, you can use pheasant tail. 
and the hackle well just find a dull subdued hackle if you haven't got a done hackle and you'll achieve a very similar effect thanks very much for watching if you haven't subscribed to the channel already please think about clicking that subscribe button and i'll see you all next time